Okay, uh, next presenter is uh, Dr. Satoshi Tsukushi. Uh, the title of the presentation is Endprostatic Reconstruction for Metastatic Bone Disease of the Proximal Femur. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you, Chairman. Uh, I'm here to talk about the intentional interregional procedure for the metastatic bone tumor surgery. Reconstruction with prosthesis is a reliable option providing a pain relief ambulatory function and uh, good local control. But uh, proximal humor uh, should be resected with an uh, adequate surgical margin is still controversial. From 2005, we performed the intentional interregional procedure uh, consecutively, uh, wrong lateral incision uh, from the posterior edge and uh, periosteal strip and uh, uh, bastus lateralis and uh, uh, gluteus medius uh, with a separation. Uh, as soon as possible, uh, osteotomy and uh, easy to stop breathing and uh, after resection, uh, the tightly suture the capsule, the tightly suture the remainder muscle. Uh, therefore, uh, we accept R2 resection in most of cases including a pathologic fracture with a soft tissue extension. We never separate uh, vascular lateralis and gluteus medius. Purpose, the aim of this uh, study was to Im investigate the clinical outcome and the prostate reconstruction for the metastatic re region of the proximal humor and to validate this procedure. Uh, 48 cases, uh, retrospective review, of the surgical invasiveness, blood loss and uh, operative time, relative complication, ambulatory status, and post-operative survival. The most common primary origin are lung cancer followed by breast cancer. Pathological fracture, 27 cases. Impending fracture, 21 cases. Wide resection group, 28 cases. Intentional interregional group, uh, 20 cases. Pain relief was achieved in all cases. Ambulance status at three months, 87.5%. A one-year survival rate, about 40%. Uh, Interregional group show significantly shorter operating time. And the interregional group showed significantly less blood loss. Uh, the deep infection, uh, uh, Hip dislocation occurred in wide detection group, and uh, no significant difference was noted uh, in the local recurrence rate. Discussion. The intentional interest procedure is a less invasive surgery with the advantage of a shorter operating time and less blood loss. Uh, the intentional interest procedure makes possible both early embracing and shortening the hospitalization period. Additionally, the intentional interregional procedure provided no significant adverse effect on local recurrence rate. That there are three reasons. Due to limited prognosis, local recurrence have real impact on pain and the ambulatory function. Second, less historical invasion. Bone metastasis of rank breast prostate cancer show radio historical invasion, making uh, local control possible. The last, in the long-term long survivors, systemic therapy is effective as a result of future local uh, control of bone metastasis as expected. And in latest uh, systematic review report, post uh, Prostatic replacement has a lower risk of the revision surgery compared to the international fixation. But uh, uh, hip dislocation and infection and uh, occurred uh, in the prostatic group. For advanced carcinoma patient, systemic therapy must be given top priority. This procedure makes possible both lower complication rate and uh, prompt resumption of the systemic therapy. Conclusion, for metastasis bone tumor, systemic therapy uh, must be given top priority. 
The intentional interregional procedure provided no significant adverse effect on the local reference rate and validating this procedure. This procedure makes possible both lower complication rate and the prompt resumption of cystic therapy. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Dr. Tsubishi.